Hi, this is an interview of the week, and this is Ruda Sepetis, our book author for this month. Ruda, is it harder to get your books published now or when you first started writing? It was harder to get my books published when I first started writing because I was really unproven. People didn't know if anyone would like my stories, so now it's a bit easier. Okay. Um, our next question is, what is your favorite book? My favorite book is James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. Um, I love this book. I, I fell in love with the characters. I think it made the world less lonely, so it's my favorite. Uh, who's your favorite author and why? Ooh, um, there's an author named Daphne du Maurier, and she writes really spooky uh, mm -hmm. kind of stories. And she's my favorite because I think it's, it's really difficult to write a thriller and scare a reader, and yeah. so I love her, yeah. Okay. And our school just read your new book, Salt of the Sea. When you first started re writing it, like when you, after you had done your research and you were moving on to the first four chapters, mm -hmm. did you already plan the uh, characters that you did kill off? Mm -hmm. Did you plan on killing them off in the beginning or did it come over time within you writing the book? This is a great question because when I start a novel, I think I know exactly what I'm doing, and I have this loose outline. Okay. And then as I write, the characters kind of take over. And it's really the story itself that determines, not me. So I don't want to give any spoilers for your viewers, but there were characters that I was absolutely sure were not going to make it, and they survived. And there are characters who were absolutely supposed to survive, and they died. Mm -hmm. And then... <clears throat> When you wrote about the William Gustav in the back part of your book, did you want to be there to actually see it? Maybe not board the ship, but with, like standing with all the other refugees around you, would you actually want to see the boat sitting on top of the water and everybody boarding onto it? Absolutely. And I want to so much that sometimes I've actually had dreams mm -hmm. where I'm there. And because I've spent so much time studying the ship and studying the research and looking even at the deck plans of the layout, I have a dream that I'm there. So yes, if, if anyone said we could put you in a time machine and go back, I would do it. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I hear that there are some exciting new about your books, new films and TV shows that are coming. Have you? Do you have anything to say about those? I do. So, so far I have three books that are published and mm -hmm. all of them, um, some are in conversation about being developed, but two of them, Between Shades of Grey and Salt to the Sea, are both in, in production for film. Mm -hmm. uh, and Salt to the Sea was optioned by Universal Pictures, and so they're making it into a movie, and I'm really excited. Uh, I think it's going to be really incredible. <laughs> yeah, I think it will be too after reading the book. Thank you. And that was the interview with Ruta Sepetis. Uh, Perfect. Sepetis.